was a very eclectic movie day. It started uh, with this first film. It's Terrence Davies' The Long Day Closes. Terrence Davies made one of my all-time favorite films, The House of Mirth. Um, if you have not seen The House of Mirth, find it, watch it, read the book by Edith Wharton. It's fantastic. Um, he had been making movies since the, I think, late 70s, early 80s, and he has a very distinct style. Um, and I think The Long Day Closes of the films I've seen is the most impressionistic of all the films he's made. Um, it really flows in a way that almost makes you think it's seamless, even though a lot of time passes, because it feels like a, a bunch of memories, uh, and memories are seamless. They just, they just flow, and the film feels like something remembered. It's, it's really quite stunning. Um, it's set in the mid fifties and I, I believe it's supposed to be sort of, um, autobiographical esque uh, about a young boy coming of age in, um, after the war and what it's like to be, um, living in, in Liverpool in working class England after the war being a little different, uh, someone who loves stories and wants to just live in the movies. And so the film shows sort of, a, a bits of his life through, throughout, no, no, nothing major, just bits of his life as a child mixed in with him going to the movies and him remembering movies. So there's quotes from movies that play over memories of his life but you don't actually see the movie, you just hear the quotes. Um, the, the movie that's quoted the most is the Magnificent Ambersons, obviously a fave, Orson Welles, Joe Cotton movie. Um, just, I don't even, I don't even know how to explain how stunning this movie was. Um, it, it feels like there's a lot of movies in the last few years that sort of did this similar seamless editing that made you think what they did was um, something new and it's you see something like this and you're like nah that was done before uh this film's from 1992 uh i think the other than filmstruck um it's on dvd from criterion so you can get it, it might be on blu-ray also i'm not sure um i don't even know how to explain what it is really other than than just a, fragments of memories of of life and movies and growing up and and finding solace in, in the grandeur of, of film, but also remembering how, how, like, it's, it's remembering, like, the good things and the terrible things, but the terrible things are never quite as bad, and the good things are never quite as good, um, and they're all tied together through your love of film. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's just a lovely film, and I, I liked it a lot. So um, there, there, there's several more um, Terrence Davies movies, like I think it's Still Alive, Distant Voices, Distant Voices, Still Alive, something like that, um, that's supposed to be sort of similar, came a little bit earlier in his filmography. I need to check that one out. Um, that one was not streaming on Filmstruck. Um, so anyways, I, I just thought this movie was absolutely stunning. I haven't seen anything like it. The ending just left me, uh, you know, gasping for air. It was so gorgeous and amazing and um I don't know if I made a film about my childhood that it would be this beautiful so <laughs> thankful thankful to, for Terrence Davies to take uh, life and make it beautiful I guess um so check it out The Long Day Closes it's from 1982 you can watch it on Criterion Channel you can get it on DVD um and just you won't see anything like this so you know turn off all the phones and everything and just sit and let it wash over you because it's just one of those kind of movies uh terrence davies the long day closes